And I'm getting to learn that you can do all this stuff even on a cell phone. There is a way, if, if that's a backup way. Um, and so sometimes just make yourself go on as the host with your cell phone one time uh, for a meeting and then just play around and figure it out. Hi and welcome to another edition of Zoom. My name is Patricia with Revere Educational Services. Another couple things to note is in your breakout room, people can be chatting with each other, but that chat is not the main chat. And in the breakout rooms, if you have set up where multiple participants can, uh, can share, they could be sharing their spotlight. They could be sharing a whiteboard and doing an annotation or um, even sharing a video clip for their group. There's so many possibilities with the breakout rooms, especially if you're now letting people choose which room, case study or um, leader that they're going to speak to. And, you know, there's a lot of coordinating that happens in the background as a production partner. And I will break out some of the possibilities, some of the pros and cons and things to keep in mind for, for your host, for your facilitators or speakers, for your co-hosts um, and your participants. But it's really fantastic to have these different options. It's just important to know what could happen. For example, when I was dividing up in pairs to do role playing for a facilitator and they were all there was 11 or 12 rooms and they were all in pairs to do some role playing but a bunch of the participants were falling off because their internet was cutting out and so all of a sudden there was one person there um because i could see the the breakout room list and instead of two people there were one when they came back, I had to reconnect, click that number one to add and pick which box, which person to send back into that room because I was setting it up ahead of time. So when I opened rooms, everybody went to where they were needing to go. So things happen. People were coming in and out or another detail. If people were coming into the meeting with the computer link, so that's sort of their video box, whether they put their video on or not. But then to talk, they were calling in because they didn't have a mic. And I needed to merge both of those. What I'm gonna do is go here, go to invite and copy invitation. And then Welcome to Zoom. Enter your meeting ID followed by pound. Appuyez sur le pour choisir. Participant ID. After the tone, please record your name. When you have finished recording, press pound. Patricia two. You are in the meeting now. There are four participants in the meeting. You have been put on hold by the host. You cannot listen or talk until the host releases the hold. Ooh, you get music now so there's someone here and when I go to more I can merge with video and it's giving me all of these options sometimes it won't I merge okay that's super important and this is probably a long distance call but when I go to breakout rooms 
and recreate, and recreate assign automatically. Assign Let's make it for two rooms. Recreate, recreate and open all and rooms. Open all room. That will happen. The phone number has been merged with, that's everyone's moving automatically. But when I go to participants, let's see here, cell phone not joined. Probably because it kind of disconnected um, and had to come back in. These things happen. And so not joined, I assign to room two. But because I merged the phone number with the video, they ended up in the same room. Now I'm gonna close all rooms and redo this. When we look here, we have just still the four. So even though I called in, because I merged, I can move them as one. And then we're gonna do this again to show you. Okay, so I'm going to admit. Now I have a phone number. I can either rename it or rename. And now I can decide who I'm going to merge with video. And these are my options. So if you don't have it merged, you open up the um, breakout rooms. Let's go recreate automatically options. Automatically, I'm the host. Okay, I'm gonna just do it automatically. Open all rooms and you can see what happens. So right now this phone's not assigned. I could move it manually with the counterpart. Ooh, it told me something. Okay, I'm going to close all rooms. If you want to join main session immediately, please press pound. Wow, I didn't know because I've never phoned in that it does all of this. So pound. So that's what happens. And what I can do again, I'm going to show you. Let's say I was recreating. Let's say options or recreate. I'm going to do it manually. And this is where I can move people around, exchange, move around. But before but that, before so we can see here, so can see if I go, go like this, merge with video, merge with video, and merge, and then it drops the phone then number because it's, it's now together. So if so I if recreate, I recreate automatically, automatically and open all rooms, and open all rooms both will go together. Both will go together. And I could then, if I was the participant, 
that was seeing the people in my room, I could also talk with them because the phone's together. What can happen is that the phone's in one room and your video is in another. So hopefully that's helpful uh, of a bit of a walkthrough for how to merge, how to ha deal with a co-host being wanting or speaker going from room to room. If you have speakers, they need to be co-hosts. It's only the host that can set up the breakout rooms initially and can get that all started. But it's super exciting that now co-hosts can maneuver from room to room even when the participants can't. That's super helpful to be able to, as a speaker or facilitator, go around from room to room, just like you would from table to table. And your production partner or assistant as the host can be taking care of the tech in the background. It is super exciting that now we could set up for our workshop participants that they could pick uh, from room to room if that's the setup that we chose because it is appropriate for they pick which, which theme they want to go to, which color, which personality, which case study, which assignment that they want to learn about. Or each, what you can do also is have everyone pick and then you have a leader for each of the rooms that they know they need to go to room one, room two, room three, and room one, they're gonna be sharing a certain video for that group um, or sharing a whiteboard to take notes. In order for people to share in all of the different rooms, you have to tick off here. If you haven't done it ahead of time in settings, multiple participants can share automatically or simultaneously and that allows them and when you're in a room um, those might be in some of our other videos or in our online course about saving the whiteboard and be able to pull that up later there's so many different aspects of zoom to learn but I hope that this is helpful that the new additions to the breakout rooms in zoom and a fantastic um, opportunity as facilitators to create engaging experiences online. Again, my name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services. Thanks so much for checking this out. I invite you to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Please like, comment, share this information with others. And until next week, I hope you have a life of learning moment each day and that you're able to facilitate those for your participants.